back to the Rocket League Championship Series. We're not going to say much here because we already said enough. It's time to get back into the match, back into the RLCS EU League play. It's the Leftovers versus Northern Gaming. Let's go over to the commentary desk with Leaf and Findable Carpet. Take it away, guys. That was scary. But I have to apologize. Hmm? I, I didn't actually mean savagery. I just wanted him off cam to myself for a while there. That's why I threw it back. Nah, dude, you got to thicken my skin. Take yeah, I guess so. Suck him to just me. Just protect yourself with the beard. No, dude. No, just no, no. chin down. Just this is this is for like like uppercuts and anything physical. Do you but have the a fist hidden in the there that you can punch people the, with? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that'd yeah, be great. But you know the the emotional turmoil uh, I have to I have to absorb myself. The beard doesn't help me with that. I guess. So, so you know well, if you need me, I'm here for but you. But what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I guess. I'm not always true. I actually disagree with that to a pretty that heavy very, degree. Like, what if you lose an arm? Yeah, yeah, you're definitely not stronger. You're actually you're half as strong. You're you, you can weaker. only curl half as much now because you're missing a whole arm. Once again, we're talking too much. We have a great game at hand here. We have Northern Gaming versus the Leftovers finally down in the match here. Game at number one, this best of five. As we said before, if you want a little refresher, Northern Gaming just came off a game five win against Penta. They're looking to continue down against Leftovers. Leftovers hasn't played yet, and actually two of these members haven't played in RLCS before. So this will be interesting to see how these guys pan out in this first game. As we get underway, we see Northern Gaming already starting a quick attack here. They haven't gotten full control yet, as we do see Leftovers kind of feeling it out. And you'll see that at the beginning of a lot of matches as the feelers, as you say, go out at the beginning. A lot of back and forth to finally find their footing. Good amount of patience, even from the Leftovers. We saw Ferry, he was going to consider going up for a ball. Uh, but he changed his mind, decided to play it safe, which I don't think is a bad idea, especially against Northern Gaming. And since they are warmed up, we just saw them go all the way to game mm -hmm. five. I would be a little threatened as well. They almost had an attack there, actually. Leftovers did start something up. And they're still a little bit on offense, catching Northern Gaming, struggling on their defense. But a lot of space given to Northern Gaming now. They will be able to move uh, back to the midfield. But quickly, the turnaround now. Leftovers, once again, putting the pressure on their sticky with a shot a little bit high. Actually drops that for Snasky. Remco and Devo get in each other's face. They do manage to put it to the side, and that's all that really matters, as they did stop that advance. Finally breaking that midfield line, but no pressure at all from Northern Gaming. They stay completely back, waiting for something at midfield to maybe start. But they don't get very deep into the leftover's end. They're still trying to get a play started, and finally I think this could be a chance for Northern Gaming. Off the top bar, Remco had to backflip. It was a little off target of that one. I was, actually, I was all right with that being off target. Snasky was there in net, and he did pull Snasky in for the safe. So it being off target actually wasn't a bad idea, but the problem with that is it didn't bounce too well, and no one was there to follow it up. Uh, exactly. Two minutes into this, still scoreless right now. Northern Gaming not carried oh, over that no. momentum. Sicky gets another touch as the defender sets it and tees it up for him. A great attempt at Remco for this trap, but actually not a great attempt at all. He wanted to put it to the corner. I like the thought process. He drifted around. It actually would have been really cool if he'd pulled it off. Uh, but sadly, hit the back of his car. He drifted a bit too early, I think, or late. It's really hard to know the timing on that. Uh, and he just put it right in the middle. Either way, leftovers find themselves in the lead now against Northern Gaming that just, again, came off a win. But they're looking to make a statement right now. Leftovers on offense quite often here. Farrow with the solo play as Siki makes his way out, gets a second goal now for Leftovers. Starting to dismantle the Northern Gaming defense a bit. We see Devo and Remco go for that. Devo got a little impatient, but it was a mixture of the ball was going to the corner. Devo thought, I've got a hard clear. I know Remco's stuck with no momentum, but then all of a sudden it got bounced around him and he realized no one was there to fill a spot. And Farrow with a nice solo play to put them up two goals. There it is, two and a half minutes left though. Lots of time for Northern Gaming to come back. Unless this game's happening, Farah put them uh, up quickly. Three goals. Another one. <laughs> wow. Uh, Farah trying to be MVP real early on in this series. Remco not there. And right now it seems like Northern Gaming is slow to get to net. Yeah, it wasn't even a complicated shot. It was just off the tip of the nose. And uh, as you said, Remco is just a little bit out of position from grabbing that boost there. And couldn't find himself in the net in time to stop that one. Three goals up. As you just said, with two and a half minutes left, Leftovers off to a really good start, but we did see in the last series, Northern Gaming drop and have to reverse sweep against Penta. They might have to look at that situation again here. Leftovers making a good starting statement. Siki tried to get a 
touch over to, it looked like Snasky there, but a little bit too far out of his reach. And that play will die out. Maestro trying to start up a play. There's Remco off the wall. Oh, not the best touch he could have gotten there. We'll give Siki a lot of time to well, be able to set that up. To, yeah, no, not the best at all. Still a rough spot here, but Northern Gaming not attacking at all. Devo very patient on that one. It does allow leftovers to move to midfield, but a quick intercept in the air there. Devo does sort of get that back on offense, but here's leftovers with a counterattack. Couldn't really find a spot on net. Both teams not really getting the best scoring opportunities at this point. Uh, yeah, they seem maybe pressured into making some of these touches. A lot of them are a little weak, not to the best spot. See Remco going up for the air dribble instead of the pass, and we usually see Northern Gaming passing a lot more than trying to carry it in solo. When we see the same thing with leftovers, a couple touches even on defense, not the best. I don't know, I think both of them are kind of feeling sure that, plus leftovers know they have the lead. That was a good touch by Farah there to kind of throw off the offense of Northern Gaming. They were all committed to that, and he tried for a quick turnaround and counterattack. Couldn't quite manage the speed that he needed, but it was a good attempt nonetheless from Farah as they got that touch away from the attack from Northern Gaming. They're trying to turn it around again at midfield. But nothing came out of that one. Slow game now, Maestro slows it down, but loses control to Snasky. No second touch from him, Farrow to follow up. Here's a push out now from Northern Gaming in the air. Three goals down with 36 seconds left. They're just getting some long shots on, but still, I, I haven't seen any real scoring chances yet for Northern Gaming. Northern Gaming has not looked terribly threatening this round, or this, this match, I should say. Uh, which is a little concerning considering they just came off a pretty hot game going all the way to game five. And what, what I thought they seemed to really come into their skin by the end, really take it away in that final game. So now I'm hopefully, they're, I'm assuming they're just going to take this game with stride. That is now four goals yeah. ahead. Siki taking that goal. Just take it in stride, go into the next game. You know? I know. I know. What, what doesn't so do kill leftovers. you. What doesn't kill you, Leaf? <laughs> <laughs> the leftovers with nine seconds left, as you said, are going to take this one. And honestly, fairly convincingly, they didn't have an insane amount of chances. But every time they did and they saw any kind of mistake on the defense from Northern Gaming, they put a goal in the net. And teams at this level are going to do that. Northern Gaming can't leave those holes for the leftovers to shoot in because it's a goal. I mean, I, we saw that one simple shot from Farah that really wasn't anything at all. It was mm -hmm. just, okay, I'm just going to go up and shoot the ball into the corner there. And, uh, and it went in. That shouldn't be happening. Yeah, and, and what is good for Northern Gaming about these mistakes is they're very easy to stop. Mm -hmm. All it takes is that one extra word of communication or that one extra thought you have in your head like, I'm going to stay in net. Or maybe I should get back yeah. instead of going out for this. Mm -hmm. Easy to change. We've seen teams just completely flop it in both directions. We've seen teams with some of the tightest defenses I've ever seen. The next game, it's, they're just made of paper mache and every ball just goes right through them. So it really depends on mentality. A lot of this, I am not. I would not be surprised to see that flip completely. Well, we already saw that happen. I mean, Northern Gaming again was was down against yeah, Penta, that's true, and then they managed to pull it back with it and win the whole series. Very Starting possible to do this, but I mean, th this is this is not a good start. You you can't live your whole life giving up games like this. That's not that's not a healthy lifestyle. I mean, it adds an extra unnecessary layer of stress that you're not going exactly. to want, especially here. At such a large stage. Good but thing I, we got those Rocket League stress balls. Yeah, I know, right. But I, I really like the way Leftovers took it. Because as soon as they had a few goals up, they just wanted to not let Northern Gaming pick up momentum. Mm -hmm. So they'd always leave somebody back in net. They wouldn't let those midfield shots put a big threat on it. Those were always saved. Some of the passes that they had were pretty good and yeah. hard to save. But someone Leftovers is always just waiting. Yep. They, they knew, like, okay, we have the lead. We know what Northern Gaming thrives at. Let's try and shut that down and keep this lead. So if they can get a couple early goals on, I, I expect to see the same style of play, but Northern Gaming, I'm, I'm hoping to see him wake up. Uh, again, I agree, and I think it's just the speed on offense they need. They've gotten down into the leftover's end. I just haven't really been able to do anything with it at this point. And I think a little more pressure might be what they need. Keep on the ball, contest that stuff, like the one with Snasky there, because now they find themselves back in their own end. But they might be able to create something out of it. Devo with a pop-up to the air. Maestro might get another touch to Devo. He tried to off the roof. But it went a little bit too wide for him to do anything. Remco, though, with a follow-up from Devo. There's the pressure I'm talking about. Those are the passing plays I like to see. Keeping him down and pressured. Siki and Net didn't know when to go up. He did wait for Devo's touch, which is what we always talk about. Wait until there's no more touch. But man, was Devo's touch nice. It throttled across that net right into Remco. And there's no way he could have reacted quick enough. Only... 25 seconds into this match, and we see Northern Gaming taking the lead this one. Different story. Great clear there 
Look at that touch. That was fantastic. Uh, to get that one right back down into leftovers. Oh, end. man. So you have the backboard. Snasky to follow it. Remco, smart play there just to get that one aside. Gets boosted up too, but does lose control to Fair as he just becomes a nuisance in the corner. Snasky trying to set up some sort of play for St Sicky there. Northern Gaming holds off very well. Does manage to put that one to midfield at least, but still struggling to find any kind of plays. But, I mean, take your time at this point. You're already up a goal. No need to rush anything. That was a weird spot. No one really taking control of that fair. I was like, I guess I'll put this to the side. Everyone, including Northern Gaming, had faith in Snasky for that touch. You <laughs> see it a lot. You got faith in your opponents. They know everyone is good, so you don't yep. want to predict a oh, miss. Oh, that could be rough. Oh, Sicky whoa. backs off, though. That was going to the net. Maestro's like, uh, guys, why am I getting this one? And now we find leftovers on uh, the offense again. Uh, what is going on? Three loose balls in a row here. It looks like Northern Gaming is struggling just to really want to go for that ball. I think it's more deciding potentially who's going to go for the ball and who's going to be able to follow it up because we know that they like to work up in pairs. They are known for it. They rarely hit a ball without a reason for it or towards somebody. We can see Devo and Remco try and work this out together. Oh, There's a pass in play. A rocket, but Farah knew that one was coming. As you were just talking about, and is able to stop that one out. Still holding off at a one goal lead. Northern Gaming can't find another one. There's a demo though. Remco taking Snasky out of the playing field. Might buy him some time to leave, but no, Sicky's like, we got some time, let's put it in. No, Remco, not the touch you want. And there are two offense, four leftovers there to punch it in. Much as I don't want to blame this on anybody, that was a bit on Remco. He went up too early for that, assuming it was going to be on target and a little bit lower. He thought that ball was coming down lower, so he went up early to get a hard clear. But since it was higher, ended up bouncing off the backboard. Even if he hadn't touched that towards his own net, it still would have been probably scored. We don't want to blame somebody, but we're going to blame somebody. <laughs> I don't like to. <laughs> it was an unfortunate touch there from Remco, and uh, that will be a tie game now at that halfway mark. Leftovers did take game number one, 4 to 0. Oh. Northern Gaming, I mean, a bit of difficulty finding their footing on offense. Leftovers just seem to have a lot of, a lot of comfortability when they get down into that blue territory. Even one by one, just keeping that pressure on. Devo trying to find that clear that they desperately need. Maestro forced to save that one. These touches aren't connecting to each other. A lot of solo plays coming out from Northern Gaming. Very rough as they're not able to push this one out past the field. Siki trying to solo play against Snasky there for support. Devo's gone. That's going to be wow. shot on net. Wow. Northern Gaming kind of falling apart on defense. And there was a great passing play Sicky. from Leftovers. That was disgusting. That was a dirty cut. That was absolutely phenomenal. Cutting that around the defender and just leaving it there. Letting his defender come in, or his, his teammate come and take that. He was confident. He just backed off. He's like, I'm going to cut this Sicky. and leave. Sicky so sticky. Sicky, sicky so sick. -y. Yeah, we'll figure one out. Yeah, we'll work on that one. <laughs> Well, there's Northern Gaming's retaliation as they do get a pass up, but a little bit too hard. Maestro is able to find that one. Only a one goal lead for leftovers, but that's all it takes to take a win. Game number two, looking to go again to leftovers as they finally pull this one back. Northern Gaming did have the first goal, but they've given up that lead now with a minute 30 left. Trying to find some passing plays, and when they do connect, it's scary. They haven't connected with a lot of passing plays, though. Devo, nice touch though. That was really good. It gets that one past Siki. Maestro gets that past Snasky. Gets the play taken out of the playing field, but Devo and Remco are still there slowly moving up to that orange end as the leftovers are forced onto defense to get this one out. Siki, the last defender, flicks that forward. Farah meets it on the wall. Good read from him where that touch was going to go. Might be low on boost though. He will just try to be a nuisance. That'll be Siki also out of the play. Snasky forced from the far field. Put that one back in, but great touches coming up from leftovers very hard, and it keeps putting themselves back down onto offense. Whether they follow it or not, it's buying them a lot of time against Northern Gaming with 45 seconds left. Time is all you really need to get rid of when you're ahead by a goal. Leftovers are not leaving a lot of room or in a lot of space to spare between them, which is great because it's not letting Northern Gaming get that you know, the penetrative play they like to do where they interrupt things and, and take control of it. But we see the leftovers, even on offense. That last drive, we saw the pass from Siki. 
They, they were actually all three in Northern Gaming's hat for like 30 seconds oh, straight. Oh, Remco my. finds that one off the roof, though. A soft touch with the front wheels is going to tie it up. With 15 seconds left, Northern Gaming might still be in this game. Oh, Farah got a bit impatient. I didn't actually think a goal was going to happen to that because I saw Farah in net, and I knew that Remco's touch was going to have to be soft because he was using his wheels. You're right. But Farah... Tried to come out just a little bit too early to the corner, had to back up, lost all momentum, couldn't get up for it's it. It's really rough when that ball cam is above you to be able to make that save because there were a few options for Remco to put that shot on. But redeeming that own goal earlier, he does get one in and a flick from Remco come out, stopped out just in time by Leftovers. And we hit an overtime in game number two between Northern Gaming and the Leftovers as Leftovers just lost their lead in the last 15 seconds of gameplay there. But if they keep up what they're doing, they might be able to pull this one back. Or are we going to see Northern Gaming finally make that momentum shift? Nice touch from Maestro. Sends that on target. Farrick catches a chip on that one. A power shot off the wall. Ops mm. for boost instead of ball. And is forced to put that one over to the side. Almost a passing play to Siki, though. Up in the air. We'll see if Snasky will greet that. No, he backs off. Siki, the one to push that one back in instead. By himself, solo play. Farrah will have to contest this one. Back down into leftovers end. We see Snasky. On the solo defense, just buying time, very smart. Keeps that in the air. Kills that one away from Maestro over Remco. No, Farah couldn't get that far enough. A lot of good contests coming up from leftovers, but they are still in their own end in a dangerous situation. Snasky expecting a shot backs off. Off the backboard, Farah connects with that one. A minute into overtime now. Now the team score, but Northern Gaming starting to put a little bit more pressure than I think leftovers is really happy with at this point. As they finally find themselves back into the other end. Oh, shot! Oh. Fair, what a block from Remco. Some uncharacteristic moves from Northern Gaming here and there, and maybe it's the lack of familiarity of the team they're playing against. Maybe they don't really know what to trust them for and what to go up for. We see Northern Gaming was going for some weird stuff. A lot of wasted aerials, a lot of wasted resources here and there. But, I mean, they're keeping their own. It's still a tied game. Devo catches that one off Snasky and flicks it high for Maestro. Siki with a great clear himself, kind of reminiscent of the one Remco got earlier. Devo, we know we can do these crazy things, almost. Puts that in a little bit off target. Fair was able to clear it instead. They really need to create a play off to the side. Snasky, very dangerous up there, but he does get the touch he needed. Remco just off the side, trying to snipe the top corner. And the defenders from leftover are able to pull that one away. Back down the other field, counterattack chance. Farah is ready for a pass from Snasky. A little bit too close up, though. Siki will have to move in as the third. Farah rotating in to keep that pressure. The backboard play. We'll see if it works. It does. Both the defenders pushing out too far. And leftovers with two minute overtime will take game number two. And eventually the pressure does go through. But Northern Gaming again, as you said, two defenders going for that. We don't normally see this out of them. They're usually some of the yep. cleanest teams I ever watch. And I really am curious as to what's contributing to this. They just seem to be struggling to, to do what Northern Gaming normally does. But Leftovers is capitalizing every moment they see. And, you know, you can't take anything away from that. Even when Remco, Devo, and Maestro aren't playing their prime, they're still insane individuals. And they're still a great team. They just seem to be making those tiny little hiccups. And as soon as Leftovers sees them, like, all right, let's do this. Because we mentioned earlier, individually, all three players, Farah, Siki, and Snasky, are all really good players. And granted, they might not have played together as a roster very long. That doesn't take anything away from their skill. Well, I mean, it, it, Northern Gaming is just seems to be... They don't know who should be going for the ball on yeah. defense. And all the leftovers are doing are throwing the ball into their end and saying, okay, you'll mess up. We'll capitalize on it. Things are going to change a little bit next match, though, as we are actually heading down to the bright and beautiful Neo Tokyo. Oh, well, are we really? We got it. Oh, man. This is actually my favorite map. And everyone, I agree. Everyone thinks I'm a liar when I say it. I'm not kidding. No, I love this one. I For non-standards, this, this is my favorite map, hands down. And things do change. The ceiling is higher. There are ramps on the side. The ball can deflect up. If it goes to the side, it won't just roll up nicely all the time. Uh, and getting onto that ledge and how you play on that ledge is actually very different. You have to respect someone dribbling on that side ledge. If you get too close and contest, they literally have the upper Wait hand a second, on this you. This is a Northern Gaming pick. Yeah. That's actually mind-blowing. I don't think I would have ever expected Northern Gaming. They want it. They want this. They want people. You, I like, we have Wasteland and Neo Tokyo. Do They're we? giving the people what they want. Well, let's see Neo Tokyo. It's Northern Gaming and Leftovers jump down into it. With our game number three, leftovers are at match point at this point. I do have to mention, as we are in game number three, Northern Gaming looking 
to lose this one against Leftovers. They went to a game five in their last series. Not the brightest of days right now for Northern Gaming, but hopefully this pick will turn it around for them. Nice start clear for Snasky. Farah tries to connect in midfield. Way up on that wall. Look at that hard clear from Sick as he bounces over the ledge. Devo up on the edge. One thing you like to see is one player usually on the edge there. Otherwise, you find yourself in a weird spot. I've seen a lot of overcommitted players on this map and a lot of long shots. Hopefully, none of these teams make that mistake. There was a nice hard clear from Devo, getting that one off the ledge. That'll roll and center in front of the net. Devo off the wall, but not connecting probably the way he wanted to. That'll be sent back down the other way by Siki. Snasky keeps it low. Remco is able to stop that one. A good bounce out from the center there. Remco's going to steal it instead. Both teams trying to find that shot on net. And I've said it before, you see some of these long shots going in. It's very easy to commit too much on this. Just a little bit off target if that was on. Could have been a goal there for the leftovers. But now we see Northern Gaming on the attack. I like these nice pop-ups in the air. Leaves a lot of room for the aerial skill. Whichever team comes out on top, the skill in air will be able to get a goal in that situation right above that backboard. Devo the slow play, gets it past one. No one there to follow it up. Snasky to Farah up on the ledge, tries to get a nice little roof touch to pass it back out to Snasky, but does get intercepted by Northern Gaming. A minute, almost two minutes in. And right now we finally almost see our first goal, but very back and forth at this point. Not surprised that a goal takes a while on this map. Most teams not terribly familiar, and a lot of high flying play. I mean, that ledge, it pops it up immediately the moment it the moment it even starts to roll towards the wall, you're not going to see a lot of wall play. You're right. It, a lot of times you'll see it, it pop up into the air. Um, and, and again, with the high ceiling, the teams that are more adept at being in the air are the teams that are going to come out on top. But right now, neither team is out on top with three minutes left. Uh, we still have zero goals in our game number three. Northern Gaming holding on to their lives for the series right now. If they lose this one, they are... Losing this series, giving a 3-0 to Leftovers. But they're keeping it very close right now. And it does look very even back and forth at this point. All they need is one goal. Northern Gaming find themselves on defense. But with this map, you can transition very quickly, just like that. As you can get nice high clears. Remco, this could be a pass out off the backboard to a teammate. There's Devo to the short side. Beautiful placement from Devo as he just tucks her away. Farrah wanted to go for the aerial. I think he... It might have been better if he'd gone off the back wall, but it's hard to say the touch off and then Devo just trying Look to push that. that all the way through. Just tucked her in there. Fortunate to stick with it and push it through the corner. The light is fading for Northern Gaming, but it could be close if they take this next game. Well, again, pick so far working out for them. It's so easy as we just saw to transition onto attack and turn that into a goal on this map as you have a lot of space in the air to move back down the other end of the field. Siki trying to get something off the backward play start up, but doesn't work out. Gets a bump at least. Maybe not the best, though, because he will be out of the play. He got the boost, but his teammates are left by themselves back down in the other end to try to turn this one back around and turn it into a goal. Hard clear from Siki. A follow-up off the ledge. Good control from him by his car. Won't be a second follow-up, though, off that backboard as Diva will take control. The cross pass to nobody. Remco recognizes the situation, stays back. Minute 30 left. Northern Gaming still hold the lead, but only by one goal. All it takes is a long shot from the leftovers to be able to even this one up and make this a tie game. Farrah giving that away. Look at Devo and I talk about this. All he does is wait for you to give him the ball, and that results in a goal. His accuracy has always been phenomenal, and from this ledge, he waits for that power shot, and this is the advantage of being on the ledge and the disadvantage of having to defend from it. That shot was powerful. Now, had he been on the ground, there's a chance it could have been saved, but since it was off the ledge, it had height on it that it normally wouldn't have had with yep. that pace and the way he hit it. So it gave him the advantage, and it soars over to the corner. And now they lead by two goals, three goals, as they throw in a long shot from midfield. Leftovers falling apart on Neo Tokyo. The pick working out so well so far. I I think it might be Northern. I don't, I don't know. It's very unlikely for them to put this map in their rotation since they know they're so good on standard maps. Well, if it is, this could break that stat we had earlier. This could. I don't. I, I can't wait to find out more information. More on that later. But, but we way, have a minute left yeah. in this match. And Northern Gaming is winning. We'll see if they can hold it off. Leftovers seem to have a bit of trouble finding their footing. They're getting great clears. They're not getting any plays starting up on offense. 
This could be a chance. Oh, Siki, a slow play, gets it over Debo. There's Farah to follow it. The short side shot. And they get one in, two left to go with 50 seconds. Unless they can come back, sadly, our stat will be true. This was a Leftovers map. Ah. A Leftovers map choice. Uh, so unless they can get two goals in the next 50 seconds, our stat will remain of whoever picks it. Whoever picks an off-center map has lost. Rip Leftovers. They thought they could be the ones. You were the chosen ones. I really want them to be. I really love this map. I want to see more of it. It's a little hard to analyze because teams tend to play a little uncomfortable on it. So a lot of the decisions they make are well, the, the fun thing is that right weird. now it looks like at least Northern the gaming knows what they need to be. Uh, as leftovers know what they need to be doing as well. Oh, they're wow. just not winning at this point. They, they're getting the proper clears. They're trying to get the play started up on offense off the backboard. But these hard high clears from Northern Gaming are really what's destroying leftovers at this point. And it's very easy to do. As you mentioned, the roof on this map is higher than a standard map. So it soars quite a bit before it hits the ceiling. A lot. Oftentimes, like it looks like it will, and it just doesn't. And you're waiting for it to hit the ceiling and come down, and you realize it never did. So you could have gone up for your original prediction. Oh, but they're finally. Be, but it don't. And almost another shot there. 10 seconds left with three goals down. I'm confidently going to give this one to Northern Gaming as they take it on Neo Tokyo, the pick from Leftovers. They're able to keep the stat true. Leftover is losing this one. And now we have a series. We see Northern Gaming do this already. Are they going to pull a second reverse sweep? I mean, they've flipped down a few light bulbs. It's getting brighter for them, but this is not the situation you want to put yourself in. Now they won on a non-standard map. A non-standard map that was chosen by their opponents. The Leftovers, this was in their map pool. But I don't know, man. I mean, it's one of those situations, again, of mentality. Northern Gaming at this point, you know they have nothing really left to lose. Mm -hmm. Well, they have actually one game left to lose, exactly. Uh, and if they lose that game, they're done. So they know they're going to have to play their all. Where when you look at a team like the Leftovers, their mentality is more like, uh, we just can't make any mistakes, which sometimes in my head is the worst mentality. Well, this is rough, too, because um, it's, we're going to be back to a normal map, and We've already seen Northern Gaming lose twice against Leftovers on a normal map. Yep. They kind of had a really uh, lucky chance here, I guess, to say, okay, now we have a chance to switch it up. But, I mean, a win is still a win, and that, that confidence, the mentality, mm -hmm. and momentum can carry over to another match. And now that they know that they can connect with the back of the net, that could carry them over. But, I mean, Leftovers still didn't look terrible, even on this map. Um, well, I hope not. It was their pick. But they still didn't look terrible. They still looked like they, they knew what they should be doing. And I expect that Still to carry over, and I, I honestly might give this one to, to Leftovers still. I mean, it seems like it's up to Northern Gaming to stop making those defensive mishaps. It's yeah. those tiny situations where you decide who's going to go for this. I don't really know. Maybe all of us, maybe none of us. And that's kind of the problem you're going to run into. And the Leftovers are doing a fantastic job of just noticing them and taking a shot. That was almost a first goal right off the kickoff there for Leftovers as we start back down into a standard map. Game at number four still at match point for the Leftovers. They're looking to take the series against Northern Gaming as quick as possible. They did just give a point, though, to them on Neo Tokyo. As good passing plays are starting to come out here, Remco over to Maestro as he tries to take that one single-handedly. There's Devo with third in. The pressure is nice right now. There's a demo, and Northern Gaming's already starting to look a little bit better into this fourth match. If they can keep that up, they might find themselves with a win off the top, the roof. Almost there, Devo trying to get in, just to squeeze one in. He is forced back to defense. Control, nice drift, dribble there. Over two, he has one left to beat. Oh. Just can't connect, that would have been gorgeous. That would have been an absolute highlight reel play, which we know Devo's pretty much known for. He was the highlight reel of season two. His highlight and material. He, oh, he's showing it almost again right now. He seems to be coming into his own. A little quieter than we usually see him, but I think hope we'll, we'll see what he can do coming in the next few games. Remco, smart play, backs off from that one, but you're right, Devo. Devo looking like he's woken up quite a quite a bit here. Moving with speed. I like to see it, but we'll see if leftovers can retaliate and keep it at a 0 0 because there have been no goals scored as of yet with a minute 30 passing game number four. One goal is all it takes to win a match and I'm sure that's what Leftovers is looking for right now, but they're in a bad spot as Remco almost sends that one flying into the net. A little bit too far, but does buy his team time to get boosted up and try to create an attack. Maestro backflips out of that situation. 
He's having none of it. Remco stays in with Maestro for support. There's Devo with the backup. A wall stop trying to keep that one low, but Siki does win that one over top of him. Now a chance for Leftovers to move out with Siki up for the cherry pick. That could be a pass to the far side, but Remco much quicker into the air. Gets that one to Devo oh! with a second touch. Just stopped by Ferris. So close, but the attack is not up yet as Northern Gaming puts on some pressure as they keep Leftovers almost the entire game so far in their own end. They're doing such a great job of throttling the clears. Oh, what a play! Devo! How do you read that? Oh, they're just shutting down everything that comes out, but they have to be careful. The one they let by, they can't let be the one that goes in. Absolutely. This could be a turnaround, though. Again, they barely spent any time down on their own end. Devo oh. just missing that one. Tried to follow through with it, expecting a miss from the defender, and it did come, but a little bit too far of the shot. Goes to the far post and stays out, still 0-0. Just past that halfway mark now, and we see a much different Northern Gaming. They're looking for that second reverse sweep here as they try to take game number four to bring it to a game five. They're putting on a lot of attack right now. Catching leftovers. Stuck in a weird spot right now. Only one defender. Snasky has to get that. Otherwise, it might be a goal. Remco couldn't get the second touch. Snasky was able, or Siki, sorry, was able to get there in time. There's Snasky, though. The second touch over Maestro, but of course not past Remco. Ping pong back and forth right now. As we see both these teams trying to figure out some plays. Oh. We see Leftover slowly making it on their own end and starting to connect with passes. The gaming retreating on defense a bit quicker than we'd seen earlier in the series. And now they've just, just watched every clear they make is always met by one of their teammates. Oh. Devo with an angle from the corner to give them the lead. Can they really continue this reverse sweep? I, I mean, it's looking like it. Honestly, I'm taking back what I said in that break. Now that we see them on a standard map, they are looking awake. Devo has suddenly had some sort of life force kicked into him that he is moving three times the speed that we saw in the last few games. Get woken up. Get woken up. That's not very intimidating at all. No, no. Really. <laughs> it's, it's for your own self-motivation. It's, it's not too intimidating. Get awake. Just do it. Well, we'll see if they can right now as they have one minute left to hold off against Leftovers. They're trying to get another play started up, but not committing too many players to that one as they know they don't have to. Leftovers have 55 seconds left to get a play started up. They're starting to get those passes to each other, but they are just a little bit out of reach every single time. Because of the plays they're setting up, they're forced to reset back at their own end. Every single time, there's the flick they need. Siki can give it to Farah. Good contest from Devo, and again, this is scary. Devo's awake. He is going to be in your face, and he is going to stop you at midfield every single time. I think that's a spark that Maestro and Remco also needed. Just to have Devo there with them on the offense. Good boost grab sets his teammates up for an attack. Northern Gaming really is choking out every attempt at the leftovers to just clear it from their half. Look at that. Did he get a bump and then yes. also get the pass yes. to Devo? Oh my goodness, it almost results in a goal that Leftovers defense had to scramble back. They held their composure very well, but this could be the chance. Uh -oh. Fair with a chance. Uh -oh. No, look at the attack from Maestro cutting the angles hard, winning the 50-50, and a set down by Remco. As it goes off the Leftovers player, they take a win, and now we go to another Game 5. This is Deja Vu. I think Northern Gaming is going to need a nap after this series if they do take it. The amount of... So many games. <sighs> Not just that, but the anxiety they're putting themselves through. Uh, if they do a double reverse sweep back to back, I mean, why? Is really the only question you can ask them. They really why? like Rocket League and they want as many matches as they can get. Uh, uh, that's a bad reason, but I guess a good reason for us, a bad reason for them. Just the amount of pressure they're putting on themselves by making those, the, ramping up so slowly, making those key mistakes early on to uh -huh. give their opponents the lead. Right now, it seems like Leftovers is getting completely stagnated when they're on defense. They cannot get a clear. Northern they can't Gaming, break out, no. They're seriously choking every option out, which is awesome. If you just watch where they position on the field, the moment you see Leftovers begin to even make a clear towards a certain direction, mm -hmm. somebody's there. And then that one read from Devo. That was nuts. Like, at midfield. Super, like, it was like a kind of a minute key in the play. Like, it didn't result in anything too insane, but it just completely shut down any momentum they had. Well, here's the thing. Just because it doesn't result in a goal directly thereof, mm. you, you know, it still kills out any kind yeah. of pressure that could have put, been put on by the leftovers, and it just kills that play. They're still stuck on their own end, and now they might not have as much boost, and then you can get a goal later on. But it, it 
you're right, it just kills off any chances they had. They were stuck in their end, I would say, a good 85% of that time there. And yeah. you're not going to win when you're not in the other end. And just prior to that, in the last win the Leftovers had, their second victory, they were in Northern Gaming's half 75% of the time. They were just, they yeah. barely even crossed back past the own halfway point. They were just always up in their opponent's faces. Well, now that Devo's awake, we'll see if the Leftovers can pull something out of here. They have this final game. This is a match point now for both teams. As Northern Gaming oh. looking for the reverse sweep. Remco flying in hard there as he tries to get a shot on Devo upside down. Just a little bit too high for that one, but the pressure already for Northern Gaming. I have no idea how sick he read that. He saw Devo going forward. He was actually reading Devo's touch, but last second Remco came in to try and smash it in, but it got read by a Leftovers defender. And look at, again, shut down. Every angle is being read by Northern Gaming. Well, I mean, as good as Northern Gaming all of a sudden looks, you can't forget that the Leftovers players are very good themselves. Gensicki, a player with a lot of experience in RLCS, knows what it takes. He backs off for Farah. Oh. So they connect great communication to make sure they didn't commit two. And Farah is going to be able to get the first goal of game number five. In game number five, Leftovers, they get the first goal, which is fantastic for them. Aramco and Maestro, that's the bumping we saw in the two games they lost. Not really knowing who should go where and who's going to make the block. That's the, th those are the mistakes. And Leftovers are capitalizing on every one they see. First goal in, only a minute pass so far though. Northern Gaming has a lot of time to be able to return the favor down to the leftovers. And they're gonna try it now. Readjustment from Devo gets that one out to Maestro. Remco with a double touch off that defender. Devo just trying to stuff that one through with the Octane hitbox. Can't do it, takes one of the players out of the attack. Only two on, but that's all that's needed. A second one now for leftovers as they put one in. This double fake, Snasky fakes going in. The Maestro tries to go in. It's said fair, oh, fakes that, that one good. too. It puts it right out to Snasky. Just pinning that defender, making sure all the options are available and making the defender have to just make a wild 50-50 prediction. It's so tough because that last defender was off for boost, expecting at least one of his two teammates to be able to stop that. But they both got destroyed. And there's a second one. Two goals in quick succession there from the leftovers. They're looking to say no reverse sweep. Once again for Northern Gaming, you had one of the day. You met your quota. It's our turn to take a win. But they have a lot of time to give a shot and a couple goals up to Northern Gaming as we still have three minutes left in this match. And they are on defense once again. We saw them struggling last match to break out, but looks like they made some of the readjustments they need. Devo, hard cut, slow game. Throws that one straight into Farah, catches it off the wall. Trying to take out Snasky, super smart play. He had re-jumped for that bump. He is always two steps ahead, didn't result in the goal. But man, Devo is such a smart player. Two steps ahead, but two goals behind. They really have to make sure they pick up the pace. Just over half the game left, though. They have the time, especially if they're going to get passes like that from their team, from their opponents. Yeah, they almost had a great midfield passing play from the leftovers, but did go into the hands of the Northern Gaming as they lost oh. control. And Devo almost puts in a Maestro, the third in. Remco will have to recuperate in his own end. Lots of time for them, though, as Farah is a little bit too far behind to do much with it. Although he wins the 50-50. Devo's on the ball to Maestro. Ooh, back in their own end. Remco forced to be a part of the play now. Nice touch from Devo, and he lands beautifully with a quarter flip. Gets that one out to Maestro, a demo, but that's off target. If it was on, would have been a goal. Devo all over this field right now, allowing Maestro and Remco to be a little more comfortable. And that could be what it takes to get two goals back with two minutes left. You're going to want to start scoring now. Good pass across to Maestro. He puts it a little bit wide. Now, the leftovers stuck again on defense. Starting to get a little bit scary now. If I were the leftovers, I would, uh, I would start looking at pressuring a bit more at midfield and just trying to get that ball onto offense. You give too much space to Northern Gaming, they are going to capitalize and score, especially the way Devo's playing right now. So you trying to extend the lead by three, minute 30 left, a turnaround, quick counter attack by Maestro, no dunk from him though, Snasky keeps that away, but a miss there, allows Devo to get it, keep it in. He does lose control and now Leftovers back on the attack. Northern Gaming does not have a lot of time and they seem to struggle in making the passing plays happen. And again, there you go, Maestro and Devo both going for that. Now this will not be saved from the net. Remco's gonna have to take it from the corner, but he does buy enough time for Leftovers not to contest. 
There it is, a couple seconds killed there by the hesitation coming out from Northern Gaming and almost another one by Siki as he greeted it. that pass forward up in the air and just puts it a little bit wide though. Attacks Nasky and Farah putting the pressure on Remco, the third in, passing play, smart as Devo gets back. Nice little drift turnaround there, puts him in a position to clear that one hard. But unfortunately, they aren't able to break out. 40 seconds left now in this last game. Game number five, two goals are allowing Leftovers to lead this match, and they might walk away with a win. Northern Gaming almost completed a second reverse sweep now. Two for the day in week number one of the RLCS EU League play. But with 20 seconds left, Leftovers are looking pretty confident in being able to take this win. I don't know if Northern Gaming is going to be able to turn this one around. Maestro is trying to make one last attempt here, though. There's Devo. No, just a little bit under. Maestro with a shot off the post. It is going to connect with 11 seconds left. They still can do this, but it's a scary spot. I mean, I have hope for the excitement, but I also understand that both of these teams have fought so long, all the way to game five. Leftovers want the upset so bad. They want to ruin everyone's predictions. They might be able to do it if they can hold off for 10 seconds coming down into the final countdown. Here we are. Ooh, a pump oh. from Remco. Almost takes out Siki. That's in front of the net. Rough spot. Maestro can't get that in front, but that's still going towards the net. They are forced into the air to save that one. Remco going to try to keep this one alive. Tivo, we know we can do crazy stuff. Puts it on target, though. Oh, of course, my. not in the right spot. And the leftovers will be able to put that one down onto the ground. And they ruin that second reverse sweep and ruin our caster picks and take the win. What an event, a series of events. Their hearts, their poor hearts, both of these teams, to be honest, bringing it all the way to the end. Northern Gaming, I mean, it's one of those situations like, yeah, they were so close in those last eight seconds, but they put themselves in a spot where they had to score in the last eight seconds. Just a couple mistakes here and there that we don't normally yeah. see out of them. Not to take that away from the leftovers, because I think the leftovers did a fantastic job of playing against the Northern Gaming game. They knew what they had to do to interrupt certain things, but you know, whenever you saw Northern Gaming on, it almost seemed like the leftovers like weren't even able to play the game. They were just stuck in their half the whole time. All they had to do is just all they mm -hmm. could do was just try and touch the ball whenever they got close enough. But they weren't able to actually amount any plays, any consecutive touches. I mean, it's that it's that on and off yeah. thing that we see from teams sometimes, and very back and forth in the series, bringing it all the way to game five. Northern Gaming getting this close to a second reverse sweep of the day. They're one on one for the day, though. They won the series just prior to this. They have lost yep. this series, so I mean, it's so good. They got to yeah. win. As you're just saying, and that's that's super important. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the second win. Uh, leftovers probably very happy to at least yeah. get one too. Um, but uh, again, it was it was rough. Devo only woke up at the end there, and uh, by then it was too little, too late. But I mean, we'll have more matches in following weeks from them, so hopefully we'll see them uh, step it up a bit more. But for now, I'm going to throw it back to Axel Toss as he tells you about future matches. Thank you, Leaf, and Finable Carpet. Another. Best of five, that goes all the way to five games. I kind of like it, I kind of <laughs> like it. Um, honestly though, Northern Gaming, they look so strong at times, but they keep it seems like they keep putting themselves in holes and they're having to climb out and not able to get it done there against they, Leftovers. Yeah, it was uh, Maestro this time. He only had two goals, no assists. He, had, he was struggling a little bit and all of Northern, like you said, Axel, they just seem to have times and games where they, they can't put things in the net, but what a strong start from the leftovers. In the first game, three out of the four goals were unassisted, so they took it upon themselves individually to make plays happen, but getting up 2-0 was huge for them. But I, and I, the, the Neo Tokyo pick, that was a pick for the leftovers, and yes. I thought that was kind of a moment where momentum shifted, actually. I, I really started doubt at this point if we're ever gonna see any non-standard picks, because they're just not working out, and that almost completely shifted the momentum over to Northern Gaming, but Northern Gaming going 1-1 this week. I said earlier on that he needs to win both games this week if they want to try and get a 6-1 series throughout the season. Looking very unlikely now. Yeah, it's it's just hard to believe how good all these teams in Europe are. And it makes it really exciting to watch the season play out when you've got all teams that that have the ability to take games off one another. So it's, it's, just, it's gonna be a race. It really yeah. is gonna be a race, and teams are gonna have to show up on those weeks and perform. Obviously, finishing in the top two is what you, you in the, the best situation you'll, you'll finish in top two, because then you will automatically get into the world championship. But at this point, even top six is a question mark. Who, who's gonna make top six? At this moment in time, with every single team going 1-1 as we've seen so far, no one is currently at 2-0. We might actually see a region where we've got multiple teams at four and three by the end of the season, depending 
on how Flipside does today, I reckon that could be really yeah. scary and really tight towards the top. It's Leftovers a, taking it. Yeah, it's, it, it's a ton of fun too, because based on how evenly matched all these teams are and based on how good they are, we've had four matches today. Three of them went all the way to five games. The first match was three to one. So that's how close these guys are. Every single mm -hmm. game matters. And I feel like every single game is going to matter as we get closer and closer to the regional playoffs. Speaking of that though, let's take a look at the standings that you guys were alluding to. We have an update. We are four matches into the day with three more to go. And here's what the standings look like. Uh, Shogun, you spoiled everyone by, by saying all the 1-1s. One there they are. 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 one. Yeah, they There's really a 1-0 oh and a 0-1 oh And we there. still have all those three teams here that are at 0-0. Zero, zero. We yeah. get to see them all play today. So Gosh. we're still, we still have insane matches coming and, up. And look at that, flip side all the way in sixth. Jeez. If you look at any of those teams though, those three teams, those are the ones that we expected to be towards, towards the top. These are all big games for all of them. If any of them can go 2-0, Yes. That is huge. Oh, yes. Absolutely. But they've got to try and do it. Could the leftovers go 2-0 and against Northern Gaming in Flipside Tech? If they do it, they're going to land. I'm calling it right now. They're going to <laughs> land. Snasky going, Snasky going to land with the Snasky leftovers. Snasky going to land. He's going to have Doomsie in his luggage. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> oh Doomsie well, got to land. Yes. Yeah, in luggage. That's we're, not too prestigious. <laughs> so. He will take anything. Trust me. <laughs> we're about to find out. And this is a match coming up that everyone has been looking forward to. It's the return of your Rocket League World Champions. It's Flipside Tactics. They're coming up next, facing off against the leftovers. What's going to happen? I don't know, but I'm super excited to see the best team in the world on the Rocket League pitch. We're going to take a short break here for the Rocket League Championship Series, but you do not want to miss this next one. It's Flipside Tactics, your world champions. Coming up next, stay tuned.